A new month and a brand new WMRC and Asphalt Engineering Hometown Hope Initiative recipient. And with me right now from Blackstone Valley Tech is Dr. Mike Fitzpatrick, the superintendent over there. Hi, doctor. Good to see you. Good to be seen. Thank you. Uh, thank you for stopping in to uh, talk about the Hometown Hope Initiative. You guys are our November recipients, and we're proud to have you aboard. We're very pleased and honored uh, to represent uh, and we've already conveyed our appreciation to Asphalt Paving in Bellingham, one of our member towns. Asphalt Engineering has done such a wonderful job with us, and uh, we're proud to be partners with them with this, uh, this initiative, uh, the Hometown Hope Initiative. And what we do is we, uh, we honor uh, certain uh, businesses and organizations in the area who are out there doing good, and we shine a spotlight on them, and we will be shining a spotlight on uh, Blackstone Valley Tech. But how has it changed throughout the years? Because I know having a child at home, uh, two actually, uh, I have a 19-year-old who is off to college now, so he's uh, he's gone past high school. But two little ones at home, my thoughts are now, get a voc education. A voc education is incredibly, uh, you know, rewarding uh, and provides dual credentialing. Um, when industry started to demand greater and greater credentials, 21st century skills, college credentials, and others, uh, the voc tech school had to comply with that expectation of the private sector. Because our mission is to provide talent immediately and subsequently, uh, depending on further training, uh, to uh, the private sector. And so industry drove us to cha make changes, and we made those changes at Blackstone Valley Tech. It's wonderful to go get a, um, a liberal <coughs> arts education. Of course, after uh, Blackstone Valley Tech, you can continue your education. But if college might not be in your, in your future, you're, you're learning a trade, which is so important. Um, but, you know, a liberal arts education, a, uh, an education in business, all great things but I feel like what you provide at Blackstone Valley Tech, these are the jobs that will always be. They're well, always there. Thanks for noticing. Uh, frankly, we're, in our case with our students, where others might see impediments, they see opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's outstanding. So let's get into some of the great things that Blackstone Valley Tech actually does as we shine a spotlight on, uh, on what you guys do for the community. Well, uh, it, it's quite an inventory, to be honest <laughs> with you. Uh, uh, the daunting, Do we have time? <laughs> uh, uh, it, it's a daunting challenge to identify, but I can provide some samples. Sure. Uh, and <clears throat> we are currently working with alternatives over in Northbridge, an Great adult organization. community, yeah. uh, well-respected, uh, and we're renovating their 150-year-old uh, carriage house uh, and their Victorian area greenhouse uh, using a, a $25,000 donation provided by Lowe's, uh, which regularly sponsors with the National Skills USA programs. Uh, these are all uh, kind of Olympic competitions for Voc Tech students. But our students in construction, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, drafting, and other programs uh, are all uh, working collectively to make to improve the environment mm. uh, for these uh, adults uh, who are challenged uh, and are provided quality services and so this, this builds portfolios for our students, and it is just one of the examples of reaching out into the community. How rewarding, not just for alternatives for getting a new carriage house, but for the students who get to be a part of this. Um, not only are they continuing to learn their trade, but they're giving back to their community at the same time. Absolutely. It's a learning environment, but a live one, and one that they can see firsthand the fruits of their labors. Another example is that our students uh, in the volleyball and athletic programs, uh, bake sales and others, uh, raised money for an, an individual who um, needed a kidney transplant, transplant and had limited financial resources. Um, we are quite active in the Dig Pink, uh, you know, cancer recognition programs uh, through our volleyball. And it's interesting when you see players dressed in football gear, uh, <laughs> hugging advisors involved in the Dig Pink activities <laughs> yeah. uh, to, to come to a common cause. Uh, Thanksgiving brings uh, our, a number of additional endeavors by our students, uh, student councils, and, and other programs, including uh, the Thanksgiving baskets for those uh, who would go without on Thanksgiving holidays. Uh, we are involved in collecting uh, toys uh, for the usual Toys for Tots type program. Uh, and anyone who has a, a new toy can reach out to a Valley Tech student to add to the donations. Um, and as we near the holiday seasons, uh, we're also involved in a number of things for our veterans uh, and troops overseas. Um, so the toy drive is coming up. Obviously, Christmas is coming up and the holidays. So the toy drive is active right now. What are some of the other events happening in November? Well, uh, we have a situation where the uh, donations of the GI Go Fund uh, is, is an activity that... Uh, 
uh, we're, we're very much committed to assisting veterans in employment opportunities and the current roles and subsequent roles when they complete their military service responsibilities. Uh, our construction programs have constructed ramps for, for veterans who might need, uh, you know, because of limited psychomotor you know, abilities, uh, whatever experiences they, in, you know, uh, endured. Uh, and um, so whether it's healthy or others that might need help, uh, our students are consistently responding to the cause. A more recent request was that uh, the executive director of uh, countryside, the former Milford Geriatric, mm. reached out to our uh, culinary arts uh, program asking for some additional assistance in their unique ability uh, to enhance meals and, and yet provide nutritional opportunities. So we're an environment that uh, some people look at us as, as a single campus. That would be a misnomer because we're, you'd find us visible uh, just on the hall in, in WMRC and in, in the uh, Chamber of Commerce oh, activities. Right. Um, we recently spoke to the Rotary of Milford. Um, and so you, you, the, whether it be the nursing homes, rest homes, dental offices, uh, elementary schools, uh, you can find countless situations uh, that our students are involved, visible, and making a difference. In studio with us right now is Dr. Mike Fitzpatrick, the superintendent of Blackstone Valley Tech. How do you find your organizations to get, get involved with? Well, frankly, there's no shortage of requests coming from them I'm sure. to us. When you serve 13 towns and, and roughly a population of the size of the city of Worcester, uh, there are frequent requests. And we have to make some judgments and selections on those requests. They have to have learning potential. They have to be reasonable. Uh, certainly you have to be safe uh, for whatever we might be asking our students to do. Let's go back to the curriculum and uh, BVT in general. What are some of your favorite programs at Blackstone Valley Tech? What are the ones that are thriving right now? Well, actually, each of our 18 programs is, is, stri is striving and growing. Uh, we have the benefit of 500 advisory committee people. These are be people like yourself in industry who periodically look at what we're teaching, what we refer to as the competencies. And so they are they, uh, encouraging us to recalibrate and to reconfigure those so they represent today's needs. And so it drives us to a constantly improving process in each of the 18 programs. Uh, we have some kind of, not only am I proud of the programs we have, because we have a waiting list of over 500 students, one of wow. the, actually is the greatest waiting list uh, in the state of Massachusetts among our regional vocational technical schools, and there are 26 of those in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, serving many of the 351 cities and towns. But we're also looking to partner with uh, Southwick Zoo to add a veterinarian assisting program wow, that's in the great. near future, which again, to, to uh, we know the industry needs are there. Anyone who has a pet recognizes that fully. Sure, um, and we have a zoo right in town, so. You know, what better um, on-hand training, you know? Exactly. And we've partnered with them before in, in other ventures, and, and it's, a, it's been a, uh, just a very productive, efficient, and uh, mutually rewarding experience. We're, we're looking to, uh, for a reenactment for our social studies program uh, with the Daniels Farm people up there in Menden uh, mm -hmm. in the subsequent school year. Uh, frankly, we're also very active in the global STEM program uh, with a partnership with uh, a, a school and students and staff from, in Russia. Uh, we convey our condolences to them in a recent plane loss mm. uh, of some citizens from, from Russia. Um, and I'd love to partner with Senator Flanagan and our own uh, state representative, John Fernandez, uh, in a, s a substance abuse symposium uh, somewhere later uh, this school year. We'll yeah, reach out to him, and, and it's... Uh, uh, all our previous responses have been greeted favorably, and we look forward to partnering with, with As you know, he's very actively involved in that right now. The Evan Fund is another great local fund who is uh, addressing that same issue. Uh, you should look into uh, to them as well. Uh, y yes, absolutely. Uh, I didn't, we won't, wouldn't limit ourselves to, to the two people I mentioned, yeah. uh, but they'll be part of the initial outreach. And certainly, whether it be the chief of police, uh, fire departments, and uh, Milford Hospital, we have a partnership with them right in our school. Uh, and many others. Uh, uh, I think you kind of answered this before, but I want you to elaborate a little bit more on this. Um, why should kids and, and parents um, look towards a, a, a voc education as an alternative to maybe a child that doesn't want to go to college after high school? Um, tell people why they should really consider a place like Blackstone Valley Tech. Absolutely. It's an honor to serve Blackstone Valley Tech for the past 23 years as someone who grew up in Milford. Uh, Blackstone Valley Tech provides uh, just so many different options. Frankly, you know, I call them corporate raiders. Uh, the companies line up uh, at graduation before <laughs> recruiting our, our scouts. Our, yeah, <laughs> at it's, graduation, it's really, they're ferocious in, yeah. in this recruitment effort. 
uh, and it's it's uh, it was always wrong uh, that uh, there would be limited opportunities following high school uh, in any Voc Tech school anywhere in the country uh, relative to pursuing college education. Uh, that's changed now. Uh, students graduate, they are engaged throughout their experience. Mm. Anyone who has the pleasure and the opportunity to visit our school, uh, we extend invitations to all the area uh, eighth grades uh, to tour our school. We also reach out to them, and in almost all cases, they've responded favorably. But if you, the best ambassador for our programs are our graduates. I'm sure. Uh, but, but the education, if I had high school students, I would have them at Blackstone Valley Tech. Mm. Many of our staff have their students. Not because they want to ride together, because they recognize the quality uh, and the return on investment. Uh, the education is relevant, meaningful, challenging, and uh, provides these candidates with uh, an array of opportunities following, without limitation. Well, Dr. Mike, thank you very much. Anything else we can add before we let you go? No, I simply say that we're being recognized as a school system uh, for uh, community service uh, through, through this program. And I have to say, our, our students are particularly dedicated to helping others, and my mother would love that. That's great. We're proud of all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. For more on the WMRC and Asphalt Engineering Hometown Hope Initiative, visit WMRCDailyNews.com.